it going guys Sharblox here welcome back to another roblox video today i have a roblox extension review for you guys in the past on the channel we have taken a look at roblox plus better roblox Robro. i'll be sure to link those review videos down below in this video's description so if you guys need an extension to improve your roblox website experience on chrome or firefox then you can go ahead and choose one my favorites out of the three i have reviewed so far are probably Robro and better roblox i've used these plugins so much that using the Roblox website without them just feels so weird and so terrible. I've had a couple of requests to check out a brand new plugin in this video. I'm not sure how new this plugin is to be fair. It's called Rogold. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. Clearly a few of you have, but it has like under 1000 downloads. I believe it was released earlier this year. It's fair to say it's relatively new. Anyway, Rogold is a bit different than the other plugins that we've taken a look at on the channel. Rogold has some very unique features that are not implemented in the other plugins plugins. So over on the creator's Twitter, he has tweeted out a lot about update news. Let's check this out quickly. So yeah, this guy called Alex OP, he has been tweeting out a lot of stuff about his plugin. Obviously, this is the guy that created it. He does follow me. I guess I should probably follow him back. So let's go and take a look at the screenshots. In these screenshots, we can actually see some of the row gold features. So this one was added on the 26th of July. Added a new feature to my Roblox extension to show live server stats. F FPS and ping. That is really cool. So you can see the frames per second and the ping on the server before you even join it. That is actually a very nice feature and that doesn't exist on better Roblox or Robro or Roblox Plus. This feature is definitely exclusive to Rogold. This next tweet is from the 7th of August. In the new update of Rogold, there is improvements to the fake plugin detection. It will now detect some fakes even with the name changes. Right, so this sounds interesting. Let's go and watch the video. So he chooses a plugin in tree generator warning wait let me just read that warning message again warning rogold has detected that this asset is likely a fake and is unsafe you're probably looking for this wow that is really useful now i'm not gonna lie i don't really use roblox plugins myself but if you're someone that uses roblox plugins on like a daily or weekly basis and maybe you're a little bit nervous about installing a fake one well this chrome extension will actually let you know about the real plugin so it lists the original one and you can just go ahead and click on it and then install like the genuine kind of like Roblox plugin. That is a really nice feature. This update was fairly recent as well. This one was about a week ago. The new Rogue Gold update will have experiments. Which one are you most excited about? No way, view banned users? That one looks insane. That is a really interesting feature. View banned users profiles. Go to this link, adding a user ID of a banned player at the end. Wow, that is such a cool update. He did post this video as well. A system for finding the original clothing. You could also just use it to find the cheapest one if that's your Thing. So let's go and watch this rainbow adidas hoodie. Clearly this is like a fake re-upload because this one was uploaded in 2017. So what he does is he scrolls down on the shirt and he is able to find the original one. So I guess that means like the oldest created. Wow that is insane. That is a really clever update. I wonder how this guy made it. This guy clearly knows what he's doing with Roblox extensions. And here is the extension over on the Google Chrome web store. So I'll tell you what guys I will leave a link to this down below in this video's description. As you can see Row gold made by Alex OP 1000, 40 ratings and 774 users. Now it's rated five star. Now I just want to say guys, always be careful with brand new Roblox plugins. Now to be fair, I pretty much trust this guy. I mean, yeah, I've never spoke to him or anything like that, but he seems like a reasonable person. I don't think he would spend all of this time working on a plugin just to have it like hack people. I know there's been loads of rumors in the past where plugins have like hacked into people's accounts and stuff and like opened back doors and like stolen robo security keys. I know it's really messy. However, this plugin, I'm pretty sure it's safe. I'm 99% sure. So yeah, I'm going to install it. It looks like it only has one screenshot so far, but if we scroll down a little bit, we can actually read the overview. So there you go. Version 1.0.8 updated yesterday. A useful Roblox extension. Rogold adds many useful and cool features to Roblox. Feel free to suggest new features on our Discord. Features, pinned games, dark theme on create page. That's pretty cool. Dark theme on the the configure experiences and place pages, bulk asset uploads, decals, shirts and pants. That one is insane. If you can upload like shirts and pants and stuff, that'd be so easy. It takes such a long time uploading them like individually. Player collectibles and wrap, detailed profile statistics, total favorites, current active, etc. Dev hub search in the Roblox search bar, more group stats, live updating game information, clean customized scroll bar, automatic fake detection for library plugins, 
find the original piece of clothing. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. We saw that in the tweets. Settings, customize what RoPro should do, and more. So yep, there's many more features, which I'm pretty sure aren't actually featured here, but I guess we're going to install it and we can see what this is about. All right, guys, so now's the part of the video where I actually install the extension and I test it. So for this video, I'm going to be using my James5 account over on the Roblox website. The main things that I would actually like to test is the bulk asset uploader, the band account view, the dark mode inside of the create tab, and of course the FPS and ping option on the games. They're pretty much like the best kind of row gold features. I know there's many other features, but they're definitely the ones that stand out for me. So yeah, they're the main ones I'm going to be testing in this video. I guess. I'm gonna test everything, why not? So there you go, just on Roblox. I haven't got the plugin installed yet. So let's go over to the Chrome Web Store and let's install it. Of course, guys, I'm gonna leave a link to this extension in the description of this video. Anyway, let's just click on Add to Chrome. Let's click on Add Extension. There you go, it's going to add it in a second. Rogold has been added to Chrome. There you go, we are now good to go. So let's go back onto Roblox. Once you install it, you either want to refresh the page or just tap F5 on your keyboard. It's going to refresh and it should now be be installed. Now I can already tell it's installed because my wrap is now displaying on my profile. So this is basically like how expensive my limiteds are. And I'm also noticing next to my Robux, it does actually have the price in dollars. So apparently that's what my Robux is worth in dollars. That seems like way too much dollars. So yeah, I don't think that's too accurate. Maybe I can edit that in the settings. So if I click on the gear icon and then go over to my settings. And as we can see guys, there is now a brand new tab, the Rogo tab. So we're going to click on this and it looks like we have got a ton of new options. So basic bulk upload. So that should be on all. Obviously I want to upload everything. Shirts and pants as well as decals. Live game stats. I can leave that on 10 seconds. That's fine. Pinned games. I can leave that turned on. Dev hub search. More group stats. Quick copy beta. Adds the ability to easily copy Roblox IDs. Profiles. Detailed player stats. I guess I'm just going to leave everything turned on. Show wrap. Yeah. Leave that on as well disabled by default when using the better roblox plugin so yeah keep that in mind that sometimes using like multiple plugins at the same time can like cause bugs and glitches i always like to have one plugin installed at the same time just for that reason anyway currency i'm going to change this to great british pounds abbreviate robux yeah i guess that's fine okay so experimental this is what i wanted view banned users i'm really interested in this one so i guess i'm gonna have to click on get access so what is this do i have to buy something Okay, I have to buy a pass. 149 Robux. That's not too bad. I'm just going to buy it. Why not? I guess we can now find out if this is worth purchasing or not. It gives you access to all experiments. You'll be able to test out features before they become free for everyone. Oh, so there you go. You don't even have to purchase this. If you're patient, then you can simply just wait for the updates to get fully released. Right, so I guess that option is now turned on. So let's go and turn on view banned users. Original finder allows you to find the original clothing. Oh yeah, we're going to use this one as well because that look pretty cool. To view banned users, what we have to do is actually click on this link. It's going to open it in a new tab. And I believe we actually have to enter the ID of the user that we wish to visit. So let me just think, who's banned? I think user ID 8 is banned. So let's just use this for an example. Let's just press enter on our keyboard. And is it working? It's back on my homepage. Oh, there you go. It is actually working. Toolbox, yes, this player is in fact banned. It's got like a little banned kind of like padlock symbol. 29,000 followers content deleted. Wow, that is actually pretty cool. As you guys know, normally when you view a banned account, it just comes up with an error, basically saying like the page is missing. But this time we can literally see like quite a bit of information. You can see their collections and I think that's pretty much it. Obviously you can see their avatar as well. I guess we can try someone else. Let's change this ID. Let me think who else is banned. Guys, I just found something pretty cool. I found one of my own banned Roblox accounts. This one is called James is going to hell. You OG viewers will remember this account. Roblox basically said my username was way too offensive. So they just deleted my whole account. They didn't even give me the chance to like reset my username or anything. I know it was very strange. I was pretty angry at Roblox for that. Anyway, let's go and view my profile. Hopefully it loads in. I really want to see this account. There you go. James is going to hell. Roblox said this was way too offensive. And yeah, the account got completely banned. I can't even remember like what this account had. Oh damn, it actually had some fairly cool stuff. Did this account have a playful 
vampire. I honestly can't remember. I just remember when Roblox banned this, I was just like so annoyed. But yeah, the account is pretty much forgotten, I guess. Pretty much lost forever. 8,000 followers though. I guess I was kind of popular on this account. I swear my channel was doing really bad when I made this, but oh well. If I click on inventory, I believe it actually goes to the guy which created this plugin. So yeah, that part isn't exactly working yet. I don't know if he's even able to get that working, but it's still pretty interesting to check out. Let's take a look at the FPS and ping on Roblox games. So just pick any game, click on servers, scroll down, and we should be able to see the FPS and ping. There you go, it just loaded in. So this one, 60 FPS, 103 ping. Obviously you can tell which server is like faster. See this one has 200, so joining this one would be a very bad idea. One of them had 80, that's not too bad. Joining this one is okay. Wow, that's actually really cool. I really like this feature. The other plugins don't have this one. This one is kind of useful, especially for YouTubers when we want to record a video and obviously we don't want any lag. Also shout out to the girl wearing the um, trash mask. I also noticed on my profile there is actually a collectibles tab and if you click on this it comes up with all of your limited items. That is really cool, another nice feature. You can pretty much just go over to anyone's profile and very quickly see all of their limiteds. Let's try it on my main account, why not? So does it come up with collectibles? Yes it does and does it load in? It is loading a little bit slow, maybe because I've got too many. I mean to be fair I have got over a million wrap. There you go it's loading in. I have honestly got so much collectibles on my random accounts. I can't even remember where most of this stuff came from but there you go. Since we're here over on the profile let's just change to the create tab. I want to see if this is in the dark mode and yes it is. As we can see it's not white anymore. I don't know why Roblox hasn't done this themselves. This guy worked out how to do it with his own plugin. Why can't Roblox do this? I don't know. Roblox is so lazy honestly. We're on the create tab so let's try and upload some bulk assets. So I think we can upload decals in bulk and t-shirts and shirts as well. Oh wow, it is really different. Find your images. So does that mean I can upload all of these at the same time? No way, that is really cool. Six successful uploads, eight successful uploads. I don't know if you can get banned for doing this because surely that's like way too many stuff. But honestly, this feature is really cool. So does that mean I can do this for t-shirts and shirts as well? So this one just says find your image. So does that mean I can't do it? Right, so I can only select one. So how does this thing work then? Is it only D? decals? Does it work on shirts as well? This one also just says find your image, not images. Yeah, I don't know guys. I thought it worked on shirts, pants and t-shirts as well, but maybe it just works on decals. Maybe that feature will come fairly soon where you can do this with pants, shirts and t-shirts as well. But right now it looks like it's only decals, but I guess that is still pretty cool, especially cool if you make Roblox games. Before I forget, there is also an option where you can pin games. So you just find like any Roblox game you want and then you go ahead and you click on the little pin icon it's going to say pinned and i believe you just go to your home page and then once your roblox homepage loads in all of the games that you pinned will actually be here and it looks like you have around six slots in total so there you go that's actually pretty cool can't forget about this feature either this is the row gold original search so if you find some clothing which looks a bit dodgy maybe it's copied maybe it's stolen maybe it's re-uploaded what you can actually do is kind of like toggle these options right here so name match i'm probably going to make that a bit lower image match let's make that quite high and let's find out who FP Clothing stole this hoodie from. So Electro Hoodie, it looks horrible, absolutely hideous. But let's go and click on the search button. It's going to say searching. This might take some time. And what it's going to do, guys, is find the original shirt. And there you go. It actually found three of them. I believe this one is probably like the original one. Okay, probably not. Updated in August. When was the other one updated? Was that updated in like April or something? Oh, August. So they probably did steal this off like one of these people. There you go, that's kind of mad. Nice feature. And there we go, that's it for this extension review video. Some people ask me why I don't use all of the extensions I have made previous videos on at the same time. So like every extension that I've ever installed. And the reason for that is if I had all of them running at once, then I would probably encounter a lot of bugs and glitches. So it's easier for me just to have better Roblox on my desktop and then RoPro on my laptop. Yeah, I just use different extensions depending on what computer I'm using. And anyway, like I said, I guess that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This year, we are trying to hit 1 million subscribers. So if you could click the subscribe button, it would help me out more than you probably think. I hope you guys enjoyed this RoPro review and I will see you guys in the next one.